Welcome to the Caribbean Princess. We are on the Promenade Deck 7. We're going to do a tour of Deck 7 today. And it, the ship is currently located in London, Southampton. All right, let's take a look. We're starting out where the elevators are. We're approximately towards the back of the ship. So let's take a look at where we are. There's our red dot. So Club Fusion is here on deck seven. And then we've got the casino, Kroner's Bar, Shops, Princess Theater. And then the outside walking area is amazing. All right, let's go take a look at the uh, Club Fusion. Let's see if we get it right up above us. Club Fusion. Right now, um, we're in Southampton, and everybody's getting off, so I figured I'd come down here and do this video. It's, this is where they'll have their, um, all right. So the whole reason why I'm doing this at this time is there's still people here, and we're not gonna, I don't know if they wanna get videoed or not. I know they're in a public space, so it's going to happen anyway, because there's people out there with video cameras everywhere. So you come out, ladies' room, men's room. And you can't, let's see if you can go around that way. See, so you can't. So we came out. We went in down there, came out over here. How you doing? Very good. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right. This is just advertisement for the casino. Casino's way down there. This here is their medallion class desk. So when people get on the ship, they can't figure out how to do the internet. <laughs> they come over here. And they've got goods that they're selling like medallion holders. So it's a medallion class. Uh, medallions are pretty freaking awesome. There's another, there's a men's room on this side. And this is the Photoshop. Or they call it Photo Studio. They sell goods here as well. And you can see the medallion stuff like wristbands, clips. GoPros, they sell GoPros too. All right, we are still on deck seven, and this is the Italian restaurant. Sabatini's. See if we can get in there. So this is the Italian restaurant. Pizza ovens. Sabatini's. All right, we are still on deck seven. Wheelhouse bar. Hey, 
and this is the wheel and this is the house <laughs> it's a uh, it's a pretty cool bar and you notice that they had a band in the in the last restaurant they got a band here they just play music everywhere they play live music everywhere and it's pretty freaking amazing. All right, wheelhouse bar. Nice leather couches. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Explorers. All right, let's go check out the Explorers. Hello. <laughs> Explorers Lounge. Hello. And here's the bar area. So you can walk by here. They'll be doing stuff on the stage and you'll be walking by. You could be sitting out here reading a book. Let's move on. They've got all kinds of awards appreciation awards for coming to various ports the ship's been around since 2004 let's see where we are we are on the starboard side deck seven and we are right there so there's a men's room and a ladies room right here somewhere There's all the staff, the staff on the ship. All right. Kroner's Bar. They have a little display here to entice you to have a cocktail. And this is the uh, seating area. Piano plays here. Piano at night plays here. And then here's the bar. Hello. <clears throat> They're getting ready for a whole new group of people coming on board. Um, so there's the piazza. That's deck uh, five down there. We're going to go check deck five out. But you could see deck seven. Deck seven, deck six, and deck five are pretty much where it's all happening. So let's go. Oh, 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 sorry. Let's go check out my favorite place. Oh, yeah. The Grand Casino. This is where it's happening. They got the Fire Link. It's not a large casino. Quick hits. Sevens. And like I said, it's not a large casino. Um, this side over here is smoking. So they do have a, a smoking, non-smoking. Let's do the whole smoking area. So this is all smoking. They do have um, poker tournaments, win at sea. All right, so this is pretty much the whole starboard side of the casino. This is where they have their poker tournaments. 
it's all electronic. So that'd be Texas Hold'em tournaments. And they get some more of these money machines. Now, rumor has it that they're going to take out that bar. We're going to go take a look at that bar in a minute. All right, now we're heading into the non-smoking area. Deal or no deal. Firecracker games. Dancing drums. They got uh, some of these older machines. Princess Casino Hearts Cruise. Uh, Instant Cashier's Desk. And again, these are all um, non smoking over here. I play this machine, Magic Treasures. Oh, did a job on me. Stay away from it. <laughs> but I mean, it's enticing. It's one of those machines that pulls you in. All right. We got one craps table. One craps table. And it's a hopping table. It's a hopping table. Heads up, hold them. $10 table. High card flush. High card flush. Five dollar table. Now my one of my favorite games is uh, Fun Twenty One. And that's on the other side right there. And you got blackjack. Twenty five dollar table. I will tell you, it's a it's a smaller casino, but it hops. I mean, there's a lot going on here, like all casinos. Roulette table, roulette table. So two roulette tables, which are pretty big in the uh, with Europeans and U.S. too. A lot of people like roulette. And then we got uh, three card poker. Fun twenty one. This is this is the game I like because it's got a lot of nuances about it when it comes to the, uh, when you're playing blackjack. $10 table. Blackjack pays six to five. $10 table. And heads up hold them. They got back to back heads up hold them tables. And then we're back to the craps table. All right, but that's a good shot of what the casino tables look like. And the crap table always gets action. Oh, the whole casino, I'm telling you. So the rumor has it this is going away. This bar is going to be gonzo when it goes through refurbishment. Now, it's it's talked about maybe October that they're going to go into refurbishment. But we'll see. All right. Let's go check out the theater. So deck seven has a walking track. And we got that. We'll put that in there. You'll see the inside and outside of Deck 7. So Princess Theater. They're getting ready for their musters. So they have muster stations. You're going to remember, people are coming on. People are going to be coming on in the next, oh, geez, 10, 15 minutes. They'll be coming on. And people will be getting all excited, going through their muster process. So here we are. This is the Princess Theater. You can access the Princess Theater uh, from Deck 7. And I believe you can access it from Deck 6. All right. Let's move on. Matter of fact, what we'll do, instead of going into the Green Casino, we'll cut through this little walkway to get onto the port side. All right, we are on the port side. That was that's pretty much deck seven. Let's go take a look, see if we got it all. We're gonna cut through the casino. So we're walking from the theater 
you come from the theater, you can either go up or walk through the casino. Obviously, that's uh, designed intentionally for everybody to peek as they're walking through the casino. Okay, so port side, deck seven that we didn't go through. We went through the bars, and now here's the shops. So these displays, they're getting ready for when people come on the ship, they'll be uh, trying to sell stuff. This store, the Calypso Go, I don't know what's going on here. The shelves are all empty. Interesting. Essence. Colognes. More colognes. Perfumes. So we did that whole starboard side. We're on the port side now. Let's take a look where we are. Where that red dot is. That's where we are. Right there. Port side deck seven. Explorer's Lounge. So the port side basically gets you to the Explorer Lounge. And then from the Explorer Lounge, you either go back out to the center area, which is the Piazza area, or you get over to the walking area where we came from on the starboard side, Deck 7. But well, I think that's it on Deck 7. Let's go, let's go see if there's a little more. Deck 7 tour. This is the walking track on the Caribbean Princess. It's deck seven. Kind of reminds me of the Queen Mary II. Cunard, Queen Mary II. The difference is the walking deck was still deck seven. However, it was three, four times wider than this and you didn't have to go upstairs. But even still, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool walking, uh, walking deck. 2.7 laps equals a mile. All right, we're gonna head to the back of the ship. Oh my God, it's freaking gorgeous. Look in the mirror, nobody coming. Check that out, woo -hoo! Nobody coming? Bang! Let's go! Morning! Morning! That clock's wrong. It's actually 9.07 in the morning. And it's a beautiful morning. So we're on the starboard side of deck seven. Starboard side's got a nice sun, sun exposure. I'm trying to go at a pretty good clip. You can see Andrea's way up there ahead of me because I'm videoing. <laughs> All right. I got gotcha. you. You're famous now. You're on the 
All right, we're gonna go up the, the stair and that'll be our tour of deck seven, the walking tour. Isn't it gorgeous out? And we gotta go up the stairs. Once we get up around the front there, that'll conclude our tour of deck seven. All right, so we're, we're gonna wrap up our tour of deck seven. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. If you've sailed on the Caribbean Princess, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you thought of your experience on the uh, Caribbean Princess. Thanks for coming along.